And I'm back again, this time with Lola. She's here. She hasn't been in a vlog in a long time. Haven't you? No, you haven't. So I've talked about senses and sensory overload, uh, but I think one sense I left out uh, was smell. Smell. So yeah, I, I can get overwhelmed by certain smells. <laughs> no surprise, it's like the foul smelling, bad smells. Like I remember when I was a little kid and we had another dog, not Buddy or Lola, but a different dog named Tasha, who was also a black dog. But I remember just the smell of dog poop uh, would just make me want to vomit. So, yeah, so I, I couldn't pick up dog poop for a really long time because I, I not only would feel like I would vomit, but sometimes I actually would a, a little bit and today I am better at it but if the smell is just really overwhelming <laughs> yeah yeah like that <laughs> uh, yeah I, I can still throw up a little bit what is your problem what is your problem And also I would say chemical smells also cause me problems, like the smell of gasoline. I really can't stand that smell. So when I'm filling up my car, uh, as long as like all the gasoline gets into my car and doesn't spill out, then, then uh, it, it I'm not bothered, but if there's a pool of gasoline on the ground and I smell it, then I don't feel so good. So yeah, it's not just sight and sound that can overwhelm me, it's also smell. I know this is also the case for other people with autism as well. I mean, good smells, I don't mind at all. I can smell good smells like, like, fresh food. I like those smells. They uh, don't make me sick. But So yeah, that, that's it for this vlog. Until next video, goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. There you go. Can't you smell